Hello guys, welcome to my video. This is the uh, first ever video I'll be making. Uh, uh, normally I'll be I'll be the one uh, go be on YouTube and searching for videos, but this is uh, I thought I'll make this video to see how it goes. I hope uh, you don't criticize me for it. Anyway, this is DS4 Citroen 2011. So I'm just going to show you to replace the handbrake switch, which is this switch here. Uh, I'm sure there'll be uh, other models of, uh, of Citroen or possibly Peugeot they'll be using the same switch uh, for handbrake so it could be, maybe be similar to replace it anyway you can see here you see this bit here this is the, the one with the P and the exclamation mark it's possibly because of the handbrake switch uh, is faulty anyway I've, I've already replaced mine I'll just show you where my old one is Okay, okay, this is the old, old handbrake switch. Okay, you can see it's broken. I don't know why they get brakes very, very easy. I'm sure the Citroen uh, manufacturer could, could, you know, make them a bit more quality. They're absolutely rubbish. They can break very easy. But the good thing is you can buy them on, on eBay for about £20, £18, £30. You don't need to buy the you know original world's original second hand one because they, they're about 60 70 quid which is unnecessary you could just buy it normal for about 20 pound you know it came from china but it does the work so you don't need to pay extra for it anyway first of all what you need is i if you don't have you, you need possibly you need allen key but i don't have allen key so i'm just gonna go with the normal screwdriver um, I must apologize again. I'm not very good with uh, making videos, yeah. and this is my very first ever video. Anyway, you just need something to pop this bit, this plastic open top, top of the gear knob open. Okay, you just push against the bottom here. Okay, see it pops up. You just don't want to lose them, okay? Just put them somewhere where you can lose them, okay? And uh, now you just... You see, I've already removed the screw, okay? So this is Allen key. It's fine tool. So it goes there, okay? You need to undo the screw, okay? You don't, you don't want to lose that either, okay? And you pull it up. It comes right up, okay? It's not very hard. Okay, now next step is... You want to remove this pocket here, okay? You just pull it up, okay? comes off easy okay now for the big plastic here you can see just push it back into okay this one is easy this this you don't need special tool you just pull it with your hands okay pull your fingers there one against here just pull it up don't worry you won't break it okay and you don't be, don't be scared just pull it up now okay for for the handbrake switch you don't need there's no more screws okay there's only one screw involved which is for the gain of okay now you, you want to push, you can see this is mine already been replaced, this is the the, uh, the new one. You want to push these plastic bits in, okay? You just push them in with the screwdriver, mine have, uh, I've not pushed it back, okay, properly, just when, for the sake of the video, okay? And two on this side and two on the other side, okay? So you just pull it up, when you push it in with the screwdriver, pull it up, it comes right off, okay? Now for the wire. What you need to do is to, to undo it, okay? This this plastic, the top bit, this, just push it in. Um, this this plastic, the top the top of it, okay? Slide so open. So you start making noise because the, the engine is running. Anyway, so this is the new one. I'm just gonna put it back on to show you, okay? It's absolutely very easy. You don't need to go mechanic to do this, okay? I must apologize, it's not very easy doing it with one hand, okay, but I just thought some, somebody will benefit on from if I put this on YouTube while replacing it, okay. Anyway, so this is being pushed back in and you want to lock it again, okay, you just slide the plastic back in, okay. So you just push it back in, okay, and you want to make sure it clicks. Just push it with anything in your hands, okay? Whether it's a key or plier or anything, you know, from the corners, so it's secure. 
Anyway, just push. Now that I'm just going to assemble it again, okay? Just Like I say, guys, I must, uh, I'm very sorry. I'm not very good with the uh, making videos. Okay. So now this is in place again. Where the pocket? Okay. And this is the pocket. Just push it back in. See. It's really I'll put the gear now back on again. Make sure you put the screw back in, okay, because it comes off if you don't, which is uh, something you don't want. Anyway, uh, I hope uh, you guys like the video, but if you don't, that's absolutely okay, because uh, like I said, I don't make a lead. I won't be sad about it if you criticize my video, to be honest. Anyway, so you just put the screw back on, okay? And put the the plastic bit back on, and uh, you don't really. Now it's working. What you want to what you want to do is switch. You want, to, you want the engine to be off while you do this, to be honest. Is going off again. See, see if it's working. There you go. Okay, that's the video done. I, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. But uh, like I said, this is my first video ever on YouTube or anywhere else. Okay. Thanks, guys, for watching. Cheers.